So now we're subtracting in different bases. Similar to addition, I'm gonna start off with a base 10 to make sure we remember how to do this process, why we do different things before we jump into base five where things are acting differently. So in base 10, so our normal numbers, what we've been dealing with for what feels like forever, we're gonna just do subtraction starting at the right. Six minus three, that gives me three. Two minus five, I can't put a negative number down here. So if I put a minus three, that's gonna look like something minus 33. I don't want it to be subtraction, to look like subtraction. So what I have to do is borrow from the next number over. So from the five, I'm gonna borrow one, which is gonna be the four. And normally the way we write that is we put a one in front of the two to make it 12. The question is why do we put a one in front of the two? Just something we're told to do. What's actually happening here is by making that a 12, we're taking this two and we're adding the base. And since our base is 10, it became a 12 and it's just easier to write a one than to write out 10 plus two equals 12. But once we get to base five, you're not gonna be able to just add that one. You've gotta add the base. So when you borrow, always add the base. So 10 plus two is 12. We're gonna do 12 minus five. The two has become a 12. 12 minus five is seven. Next column is four minus four is zero. So 526 minus 453 gives you 73. We had to borrow. When you borrow, the number you're taking away from decreases by one. The number you're adding to, you add the base. Base 10, we added 10. So in base five, start off the same way. One minus two, that would give us a negative number. We can't have negative numbers. So we're gonna go over one to the left, giving us the two, and we're gonna borrow from the two. So it's gonna become a one, and we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna add the base to it. So our base five plus one is our six. We now have six instead of one. Six minus two I can do, giving me four. Next column, I'm doing one minus three would still give me a negative number. So I have to borrow again. From the four, I'm gonna take one away, making it a three. Added to the one, I'm gonna add the base, always the base. Five plus one is six, so instead of one, I'm doing six now. Six minus three keeps us at three. Last column, I can do three minus one gives me a two. And the only thing missing is the base. So you don't need to worry about is this number allowed in base five because subtracting you're always making them smaller. You can have smaller numbers. The only thing you've got to worry about is when you borrow, make sure you're adding that base and make sure you don't forget the base at the end. Always put it there. So 421 base five minus 132 base five is 234 base five. Any questions, please email me.